Virgos. Hey, my loves. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be your daily message. Let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for you. This is going to be what you need to know right now um, and what you may not see. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. And I pray this reading gives you the answers that you are seeking at this time about your situation. Let's go ahead and dive in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, give me clear and concise messages for Virgo. Okay, we're going to get three of these cards and then we're going to move through clarifying with the Tarot. Then we'll get some surrounding energy for you as well. Let's see. I miss you guys yesterday. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so we have the lovers. We got balance. And then the eight of cups. All right. So what I'm getting here, the lovers straight out from the beginning is talking about carefully weighing your decisions. It's talking about um, good health. Um, it's also talking about intimate relationships. This is talking about choices um, based on emotions. Um, it's talking about good news regarding love. It also is talking about something that you're passionate about. All right. And then we see balance. All right. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, waiting for the perfect timing. All right. So, <clears throat> and this can have something to do with you having a desire to move on. All right. You could be wanting something more meaningful going on in your life, um, spiritual and emotional growth. So I'm feeling what I'm feeling here is in a relationship or something that you may be passionate about. You're experiencing a level of growth and elevation and you're looking for balance, all right? It's like you're looking for an equal give and take or somebody to match your energy. Um, you're kind of in your heart space feeling like it's time to move on from something or feeling like maybe you want something more. It is indicating the fact that you just feel like you want something that you're more passionate about, right? Or you want to feel... A equal give and take or something more balanced it's like you want something that matches your energy that you're in now something that balances things out for you better um and that's what i see here um i see with this intimate relationship in the lover's card it's letting me know that you're really passionate about something also with the eight of cups indicating you moving on to something better or this could even be representing your spiritual awakening um definitely could be with the balance, it looks like you've tried, all right? Um, you've tried to figure out when the perfect time would be to move forward or um, capitalize on this idea that you have. Also, you've been trying to figure out the right time to talk to somebody about balancing out the energy or the right time to walk away from something that you may have been, well, you are, have been invested in, okay, with the Eight of Cups. Um, this could also be somebody... I'm feeling a bit emotionally um, worn out or drained from a situation also. Whatever this might be for you, Virgo. Um, yeah. And then we have the seven of earth. So it looks like it's something like you want to invest in something more meaningful. You really do. And I feel like you're being careful where you plant your seeds. Um, also, you're just trying to be mindful, all right? It could be a temporary pause, and you could be worried, all right, with the Seven of Pentacles, talking about unnecessary worthy in the, um, worry in this deck. You could be feeling like you're not worthy, or somebody could be panicking, feeling like they're not worthy, or that you may walk away from them, um, or something of that nature. But let's go ahead and get a little bit deeper into this. <clears throat> <clears throat> but definitely you're seeking balance and um, something more meaningful. Um, and this could be work. It could be love. Um, I'm getting a lot. We got the work energy here or the seven of pentacles. Something having to do with your stability and security. And then we also have the lovers. So it could be a relationship. Um, so just take it as it resonates. Also, you could be waiting for the right time to talk to someone about something to bring some balance. Okay. Um, but let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you about the energy that's on the board. So let's look in the surrounding energy. We're going to clarify this as well. But let's see what else is surrounding this energy that's here. Because I do see you just being passionate. And you're very passionate. But you feel like 
you're maybe not getting the equal give and take that you desire all right and it's like i said it's something that you're very passionate about but it looks like you're in this energy of elevating um or awakening to the fact that you want something more um and you're also trying to figure out when the right time is to move toward this and you might not even be fully walking away from something you just could want to expand um this could be something that you really um put your heart and soul into but you want something like i said more meaningful something that you feel like is safe all right something that is more safe like you know that you're gonna get a turnout the turnout that you desire with the seven of pentacles um this is you seeing the fruits of your labor manifest and then with the ace of fire an exciting new opportunity career achievement and changing your life also the page of earth is under that so that is the page of pentacles and this is talking about success this is also reminding you about patience as well as the seven of pentacles y'all so um, it does look like you're going to have some type of opportunity or a new opportunity that's going to come about for you. And this is what you've been manifesting. And this could be in work, love or life. But whatever this is, um, <clears throat> it looks like you have already put your affirmations out. You've already set your intentions out on gaining something better or getting something bigger or doing something bigger. Elevation is always good. All right. But it looks like somebody was definitely trying to figure out, is this the right time? Because you don't want to go and jump out there and then you should have waited. Um, but this is the energy of you using your intuition in order to bring balance to the situation. Some of you could also pray, but it's no time in like divine timing. God definitely knows exactly what we need and which way to gear us towards. So this is just all about you being patient. And taking action on the thing that you really, really want to do. Um, <clears throat> we'll see if the two of swords or the two of wands come out at all. Um, but as of right now, I see you thinking about this. Um, but I see an opportunity about to present itself in your life. This was under the seven of pentacles. So you've been investing in yourself. And it looks like you've been doing the work that it takes to help you elevate and open these new doors for you. Um, and if you're in a loving relationship or a lover's relationship or a relationship with someone, you just want to feel like you're getting all that you put out. Um, some of you could be feeling like your partner is a bit emotionally detached or you feel yourself outgrowing a situation and becoming kind of emotionally detached. Um, somebody could definitely be dealing with a Pisces energy. And like I said, with this, you're discovering the fast, mirrored facets of who you are. This is definitely an indicator of you elevating, you um, opening up your eyes to a lot of things about yourself that you may not have recognized. This is also that spiritual awakening energy, and it could really hit you very hard, all right? And it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It just means that it's a, almost a shock <laughs> where you start seeing things different and start resonating with people and people and who you're in relationships different like i said before people are resonating with you different it's like you finding that you don't resonate with the same people that you used to you don't see them the same you're starting to see more about people and their uh, intentions towards you and things of that nature um and it's really an eye opener with this pisces energy this is indicating that You've been using your intuition. It's all about your emotional visions, illusions, um, escaping. So you could be escaping something with this eight of waters energy, you moving on from something. All right. This is also talking about healing um, and compassion and uh, compassion. I'm sorry, y'all. And you being very sensitive to the energies that are around. This meaning that you're picking up on a lot of things that people don't expect you to pick up on um and people do see this growth in you especially the person that you're with um and it is a such thing as you outgrowing your partner or outgrowing a job you could just feel like it's time for you to branch off and do more and not everybody is going to understand it but everybody comes to a point in their life where they just have to do what's best for them and i feel like as you discover who you truly are and the things that are truly dear to you and the things that you truly deserve and desire at this new level that you're at, you're deciding that there are some things you're like, Hey, there are some things that I need to let go of. Um, and it's not going to be easy. <clears throat> and 
it's you know all you can really do is do your best it's not always gonna turn out perfect um there is no perfect person so i mean it's all about how you embrace the changes and how you embrace the opportunities that come your way that you're helping open up for you, all right? Eventually, people will get it. People will start to understand that you have to do what you have to do for you. But right now, the most important thing for you is balance and being able to be happy, um, passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. That's very important to you. All right, so we got the lovers. Um, and this is, like I said, intimate relationships. You carefully weigh your decisions, all right? But this is good health, healthy decision, balance, all right? Um, with the ninth house, this is talking about long journeys. And it's making me think about your investments in the future. This is also talking about wisdom, all right? Learning and adventure. Um, and this is also talking about your spirituality and religion, all right? So I really feel like, you're a very compassionate and powerful person. You could be a very spiritual person, very spiritually balanced. And you do allow the most high, the divine, and your intuition to guide you. You do believe in the magic of the universe and you understand how the law of attraction works. Um, and you're you're coming into that. There's somebody that actually is studying that um, so that you can really manifest with purpose and be intentional and also specific about whatever it is you're manifesting. So I do see that here. And all of this is going to help you move toward this new passionate beginning. This could be a new beginning in love. You could be seeking a new lover or a new relationship. But also you could be seeking a new job. All right. Somebody could actually be about to give birth and have a new addition to your family. And with that being said, you recognize that there's a lot of things that need to change in your environment and your energy and in the way that you are moving forward. So I see that here. All right. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we do have Taurus energy. So somebody could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Um, I'm getting maybe Scorpio, Pisces for sure. Somebody could be dealing with the Taurus. I'm also getting Virgo energy. Um, nine could be a significant number to you, 14 and six. Okay, um, but let's move on, y'all. Now, let's get the tarot. Let's go a little bit deeper. Um, with this Taurus energy, it is talking about self-indulging. It's talking about you um, having ripe ideas and that you really need to act on. It's also, again, talking about patent, um, patient. Um, so, it's talking about you maybe having some things in the works that you really need to take action on. I keep getting that to tell you that. Um, and it's also talking about earthy earth signs. It's also talking about you being a nurturing, loving creator. All right. So I do see all of these things for you. So let's move on a little bit and see what the tarot wants to tell you about this energy on the board. What does the tarot want to tell you about what this is that you're experiencing at this time and what this is that's surrounding you? I'm going to do another reading for you guys about you and your person, but I'm going to do that for a little bit later. Um, right now, it seems like this is about you and you making changes in your life for the better, all right? Also, a new opportunity. Um, and with the page of Earth, um, this could also be you going back to school. It could be you passing your courses or you deciding to go back to school and take some new classes. Also, could be a job offer, a new um, adventure regarding work with the Ace of Fire and the Page of Pentacles, y'all. All right, so let's see what's going on. With Virgo, thank you so much for your divine protection, Holy Spirit, around each and every one of us. Thank you for giving me clear messages for Virgo. Thank you for finding any negative energy. Let's see. Again, we got the lovers. So definitely talking about you making choices. We got the six of coins, the equal give and take. So this is talking about generous giving. It could talk about blessings from the divine with the queen of swords energy. So yeah, this is exactly what we were just talking about about you standing your ground and you could definitely be a male in this queen of swords energy but this is talking about celebration um this is talking about um mutual attraction so this is you going after something that you are feeling more passionate about this is going after something that you're going to be working together with someone and it's a good team. You're going to feel appreciated. You're going to feel welcomed in. You guys are going to be on one accord when it comes to being passionate about each other. Um, so this is what this is. And like I said, this could just be you going after something different. 
Um, I don't know. I've been getting the energy of you guys looking for more as far as work and as far as the company that you keep. So this could definitely be that energy, y'all. We got the six of coins, right? So everybody wants an equal give and take, of course. Um, it's hard to find that sometimes. Um, people that are de definitely genuine and actually willing to invest the way that you're willing to invest. Um, but it looks like you're going to stumble upon a blessing where you are going to get an equal give and take or you're going to like each other equally. This is also blessings from the divine, a fresh start again with the the sunflower um a payoff for your strength your resilience sunflower reminds me of resilience it also reminds me of restoration and very positive energy um solid okay so i feel like there's some type of solid prospect or solid offer that's going to come out of all of this and with this queen of swords energy male or female energy you're definitely thinking strategically all about strategy at this time so you're planning wisely and again that takes us back to the balance um, and then you in the eight of cups, you waiting for the perfect timing. And it reminds you of the patience. We keep pulling patience, patience, patience with the seven of earth and the Pisces energy also um, reminding you to be patient. Um, and, and I feel like spirit is just getting me to tell you that y'all, you know, Anything worth having is worth working hard towards, but it's also worth being patient for. And like I said, it's no timing like divine timing. And I do see divine timing at work in your life here with the six of pentacles and the lover's card, especially with the um, eight of water. And then the card coming out telling you that you're discovering mere facets of who you are. You're starting to really resonate with the divine in learning who you are and exploring and experiencing changes where it's helping you grow. So it's like every lesson has a blessing. And even though something happens where you may not be able to obtain things forever, nothing is meant to last forever. Everything is meant to grow you to the next level, honestly, even in the thing, even in the times when you stumble, right? So with the aid of water energy and you desiring to move on and you exploring different facets about yourself and you elevating to new heights where um the old energy the stale energy the negativity you're just not resonating with that no more and that's what that's what you're supposed to do right but with that being said, it's all because you stood your ground in something because you're standing on what you believe because you're being very direct when it comes to what you deserve and what you expect, um, I feel like you do have firm boundaries in place. And with this queen of swords energy, it's indicating that you've been through a lot and also you've learned a lot and it's helped you build this tough exterior, even though you're still rational minded and you're still welcoming and you're still kind hearted, but you're very vigilant and very in tune with what's happening around you because of all the experience that you gained over time all right and so you're standing on that you're standing on your wisdom you're knowing your worth and you're not accepting less anymore you're not accepting less all right um we have the three of cups so a gleeful celebration something definitely is going to come about that you're going to be able to ex explore and celebrate about it's something that's going to make you very happy all right with the three of cups energy um this could be celebrating with friends this could definitely be good news and i feel like it is going to be good news especially regarding money with the ace of pentacles some type of new abundance um somebody is definitely about to get a new job or a fresh start um you could be even embarking on the new ideas that you have y'all when it comes to um achieving your goals or chasing your dreams i really feel like that and it's going to work out for you better than expected with this ace of fire and the ace of pentacles we already had the page of earth letting you know that it's some type of solid investment and then you have the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands so something good is about to happen a job offer or something new regarding stability security and financial blessings okay so I love that for you. Let's get into it, okay? Um, underneath the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy with spirit wants you to know the most at this time is to use your intuition, all right? Using your intuition to bring about the things that you are passionate about. Um, with the intuition coming out, the high priestess energy and the queen of swords with the six of pentacles, somebody here, and the ace of pentacles, somebody here is determined. And this is reminding me to let you know that as long as you're using your 
intuition and your discernment and you're not giving up, you're being very direct and you're remembering all the lessons you learned, you're definitely going to capitalize on this with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles energy. You're going to have something to celebrate about. You're going to get exactly what you're seeking out to have. Let's clarify this a little bit farther before we go with the Page of Cups. Here's that exciting offer. Somebody definitely is going to get an offer. I'm loving this and I feel like the people who the people who doubted you, anybody who may have doubted you, they're starting to see your life unfold, like everything you said to be true. Again, with the Queen of Swords, like people may have not believed that you would get this far, or they may not believe that things will work out for you the way that they have. People could have definitely doubted you. And I feel like it's because they're impressed. They are impressed by you. But, you know, it's natural for people to doubt things that they haven't seen done before. And it's just like a Virgo to walk out and on faith and do something big and have everybody in awe, wondering how the heck did that just happen? Um, and it's easier said than done. It definitely does take work. But for those of you who have been doing the work, prepare for this reward that is coming towards you, all right? A brand new offer or opportunity that's going to require you to take action. And once you take the action, celebration and Ace of Pentacles. So something new, new endeavor, okay? Um, let's go ahead and clarify a little bit more to see what our spirit wants to tell you. Is there anything else that Virgo needs to know regarding the lover's energy? Let me shuffle the cards one more time, y'all. I got to shuffle one more time. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with the lovers. Why is the lovers here? What does Virgo need to know about the lovers energy? Heartbreak. So there definitely could have been some type of heartbreak or this is you um, going through the motions to get wherever you have to go. This could definitely indicate that you've been through a lot. That you've overcame a lot. People could have seen you getting hurt before. Um, and just in a place, in a low place. Because somebody's learned a lot of lessons. All right? You've learned a lot of lessons. And after feeling heartbroken about something that you've been through, you have the Knight of Cups. This is good news. This is an offer. This is um, better days, honestly, I feel. But after the Three of Swords energy when you were feeling hurt and not feeling accepted or not feeling... Um, it's like you didn't feel valued. Somebody wasn't matching the energy, giving you the equal give and take you deserve. Um, now somebody sees that you're worth it. All right. Somebody is seeing your worth and recognizing the fact that you when even when you were heartbroken, you were speaking positive over your life with this three. I mean, with this Knight of Cups energy, I really do feel like you were speaking positive over your life, saying that everything would be OK. Everything is going to work out for me. Right. Um, and with the nine of pentacles energy, definitely could be dealing with a Virgo or this is you Virgo finally getting the equal give and take you deserve or just branching out. It's like you believe so you receive with the six of pentacles. I feel like you believed that your hard work will pay off. You believe that everything is going to balance out and work in your favor and it started to. All right. And I feel like with the eight of cups here. You could really be feeling like you need something more. You needed something more. And this is what you went for. Yeah. After feeling left out in the cold by somebody possibly. Um, I did see the five of cups. But with the hangman energy and the judgment. Feel like you just have been thinking very strategically about everything. And I feel like for a minute things could have been going slow for you. You could have brought things to a screeching halt while you make the decisions like i feel like the divine is stepping in with this judgment definitely talking about you reflecting and looking over things and trying to figure out exactly what you want to do um i feel like after a time when you felt like things weren't working out for you you just paused you took a brief break and you just finally decided to really Look over your situation and figure out exactly what you needed for you. And it's just clarifying what came out previously because these are the tarot cards, but we're just clarifying a little bit deeper. But it's just basically telling me that you decided to take a break and take a step back and really figure out exactly what you want to do. What would truly make you happy with the hangman, the judgment, and the two of wands. All right. And so what the two of wands is telling me that you made a decision. You're making a decision to move forward. You got the Ace of Wands and then the Two of Wands. So 
whatever you're deciding to do as far as moving forward, it's actually going to end out end up working out for your good. And we got the strength card here. You being strong, resilient, and trying your best to remain passionate and creative. You're trying to definitely keep your eye on the prize. I feel like you do have a lot of ideas because the page of wands can represent kind of scattered energy. But it's talking about you being passionate and you um, really having an idea to do something big. This is you believing in yourself and believing that everything is going to work out for your good. And it turns out that it is with the three of cups the ace of pentacles and the high priestess basically saying i knew that things were going to work out for me and i feel like you've been affirming this like you tell people this with the six of pentacles telling people that even though things got a little bit hard for me even though things may have seemed tough you let people see that you're very resilient and very headstrong and very powerful um a lot of people that know you i feel like these are people that's close to you um, and it's just like, I told you so type energy that everything was going to work out for me. And here it comes. You're going to get the communication that you need, I've, um, that you've been waiting for. Actually, I feel like you've been, and this is going to bring you an upgrade because from the nine of pentacles to the king of pentacles, I feel like you're going to get a job offer or something is going to happen in your life where things turn around for you. All right. Um, and this is you talking to someone, exchanging information or exchanging messages. This could even mean you going to see someone after you get the call. So this could be that job offer or that interview or whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you're waiting for. You could even be meeting someone new, but because you were passionate and didn't give up, you're getting this upgrade. You're getting exactly what you deserve and everything you've been waiting for. And underneath the bottom of the deck, we got the angel of balance. All right. So it's like, I knew it type energy and everything you said has been unfolding or will you'll see it unfolding right before your eyes. Everything you said is coming to pass and the people that doubted you or the people that envy you, it's just, you're going to leave them in awe and in disbelief of how everything turned around for you so quickly. But things are definitely changing for you and you're about to embark on a brand new journey. Yes. And I feel like you are going to love it. Your decision, you're making the right decision here, moving forward toward what you're passionate about. And I always say, go where God leads you because that's where you'll thrive. All right. So I'll leave you with that, Virgo. Thank you guys for your love and support. I appreciate all that you do and everything, um, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for your bookings, donations, and your purchases. Um, you can book your readings at closer the number to my destiny.com. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, my lovies.